Heard about the most ambitious space project of the 21st century? It finally happened, only a couple of days ago. China launched the main module of its initial permanent space station that will host astronauts long term. That is the latest success for a program that has obtained a number of its growing ambitions in recent years. The Tianhe, which means Heavenly Harmony module, skyrockets into space atop a Long March 5B rocket from the Wenchang Launch Center, based on the southern island province of Hainan. It marks another significant advance for the country's space exploration. The launch is the first of 11 missions necessary to complete, supply, and crew the station by the end of next year. China's space program has lately brought back the first new lunar samples in more than 40 years. It expects to land a probe and rover on the surface of Mars in May. Minutes after the launch, the fairing exposed the Tianhe atop the rocket's core stage, right after it separated from the rocket. It will orbit for about one week before falling to Earth. And minutes after that, it opened its solar arrays to provide a constant energy source. The characters for China Manned Space are heralded on its exterior. The space program is a source of tremendous national pride. Premier Li Kuchang and other major civilian and military leaders saw the launch live from the control center in Beijing. A message of congratulations from the state leader and head of the ruling Communist Party, Xi Jinping, was also declared to the staff at the Wenchang Launch Center. The launch furthers the three-step plan of building up China's operated space program and marks a crucial leading project for forming a powerful country in science, technology, and aerospace. The core module is the part of the station where astronauts will remain for up to six months at a time. Another 10 launches will deliver up to two more modules, where crews will conduct experiments, four missions with crews, four cargo supply shipments. At least 12 astronauts are preparing to fly and to live in the station, as well as veterans of previous flights, newcomers, and women. The first crewed mission, Shenzhou 12, is expected to be launched by June. When finished by late 2022, the T-shaped Chinese space station is expected to weigh about 66 tons, considerably lighter than the International Space Station, which drove its first module in 1998 and will weigh about 450 tons. Tianhe will include a docking port and will also be able to attach with a powerful Chinese space satellite. Apparently, it could be expanded to as many as six modules. The station is created to operate for at least 10 years. Tianhe is comparable to the size of the American Skylab space station in the 1970s and the former Soviet Russian Mir, which worked for more than 14 years after launching in 1986. The core module will give living space for as many as six astronauts during crew changeovers. In contrast, its other two modules, Wentian, or Quest for the Heavens, and Mengtian, or Dreaming of the Heavens, will give room for conducting scientific experiments, including medicine and the properties for the outer space environment. China started working on a space station project in 1992, just as its space hopes were taking shape. The necessity to go it alone became more critical after it was excluded from the International Space Station, mainly due to U.S. objections over the Chinese program's secretive nature and bond military ties. After years of successful commercial and rocket satellite launches, China put its first astronaut into space in October 2003 being the third country to independently do so, with the Soviet Union and the United States being first. Along with other crewed missions, China launched a couple of experimental, single-module space stations, Tiangong-1, which means Heavenly Palace-1, and its follower, Tiangong-2. The first burned up with contact being lost, and its orbit decayed. The second was triumphantly taken out of orbit in 2018. The Tiangong-2 crew lived aboard for 33 days. While NASA must get permission from a resistant Congress to contact the Chinese space program, other countries have been far less uncertain. European nations and the United Nations will cooperate on experiments on the completed Chinese station. The launch comes as China is also advancing ahead with crewless missions, mainly in lunar exploration. It has successfully landed a rover on the little explored and mysterious far side of the moon. In December, its Chang'e 5 probe delivered lunar rocks to Earth for the first time since the U.S. missions of the 1970s. Meanwhile, a Chinese probe transferring a rover is due to set down on Mars sometime around the middle of May, making China only the second country to victoriously accomplish that after the U.S. The Tianwen-1 space probe is orbiting the Red Planet for half of the year now, with collecting data. Its Zhurong rover is also searching for evidence of life. Another Chinese program proposes to collect soil from an asteroid, a key focus of Japan's space program. China plans the next mission in 2024 to bring back lunar samples and has declared its plans to land people on the moon and eventually build a scientific base there. No timeline is set for such projects. A top-secret space plane is also reportedly under development. 
China has proceeded in a more measured, cautious manner than the US and Soviet Union during the height of the space race. One recent issue came when a Long March 5 rocket failed in 2017 during the Long March 5B variant's development to put Tianhe into orbit, but that's caused only a brief delay. How serious is China's space dream? Well, the project is a big deal. This will be the largest international space cooperation project for China, so it's significant. China's space ambitions are no secret for anyone anymore. The Chinese state media constantly cast the space dream as one step in the path to national rejuvenation.